Um, I got one special order I got to pull. This is a non-filming day for us. Usually we don't film uh, pulling orders on this day, but we got one special order I got to pull in Pippin Bin. It's 9360, and it is a hat. Um, a very good friend of ours, Roman, at Anytime Picker Channel, YouTube channel. Go check his channel out. Um, I think he does a lot of lives now, a lot of reselling lives. Shows you what he finds at the bin stores and stuff. Uh, he purchased this hat from us. So thanks a lot for the sale, Roman, and can't wait to see you at the reseller rally. So I got the rest of the orders pulled besides that hat, and I figured instead of putting that clip into another video, I'll just do my own video. And if you're wondering why it's just me tonight, it's because um, Janelle actually fell and hurt her back while she was out today. So she's going to be laid up for a little bit, and I'm going to try my best to manage everything myself. Um, I'm just out here trying to get the orders out tonight. Um, which is fine. I've done this by myself before, but, uh, lately it's been going a lot quicker because Janelle will come out and help me. Um, it's kind of lonely out here without Janelle, so I figured I'd fire up the camera and hang out with you guys for a bit, even though you're really not here and I'm already off doing something else while you're watching this, but whatever, you get the point. Uh, sold some water filters. Just listed these over the weekend. Uh, today's Monday, I think it is. I'm sold for $20.93. I think Janelle got them on $2 day um, at the one bin store we've been going to. I used to go to this other bin store and I'd go on Monday nights on $2 day and I would pick up like almost every water filter I would see there for, for the refrigerators. And, uh, you know, you get about $10, $15 for them. So, you get them cheap enough, it's not bad. I know this is a little bit of a different video from what you're probably used to. I'm probably not gonna edit this like I usually do and make it look all fancy, but kind of showing you the rawness of uh, reselling too. It's one of the things when you're self-employed, if you get hurt, you still got to keep the wheel turning. Because uh, not like we got a whole chain of employees out here to help us. Um, it'll probably be a little while before she's out sourcing again. So hopefully that won't affect us too much. We still got to, um, uh, we still got a lot out here that we can list. Not really good stuff because we haven't been really bringing in a lot of good stuff. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I mean, she's, I don't want to worry you guys. She's not like, like hurt, hurt, like, like really bad. She's very sore. So she needs to take it easy for a little while and uh, make sure she's good to go before she's back up on her feet again. Sold a baseball glove for $17.46. Uh, listed that a month or so ago. So I got to be honest, uh, just trying to find the thank you here that goes with it. I think I forgot to put the thank you in the other one with the filters. I don't know, whatever. Um, it's a little awkward for me. I'm used to filming with Janelle and having someone to talk to. I don't know how you content creators that film yourselves do it. Um, I don't have anybody talking back to me or responding or smiling and nodding at me while they're filming me. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll make an idiot on myself and you guys will be entertained. Maybe you guys won't be entertained and you stop watching and go watch another video and then I don't got to worry about making an idiot of myself. Next up is Roman's hat he bought from us. Um, I'm actually going to pay more on shipping that than he paid for the, for the hat because I'm going to ship him a mug with it too with our FJ Treasures logo on there. And... I will also get him some stickers to send with him. So funny story about Roman. Uh, we went to the reseller rally down in Cincinnati uh, about two years ago now. I think it's two years this month maybe or next month. And it, um, it's about a, I don't know, eight hour drive for us maybe, whatever. We got a few hours out from the venue um, of Cincinnati and decided we're going to stop at some Goodwills. Um, I had been posting on the group page, the group Facebook page for the event. Cause I, we went there not knowing anybody, me and Janelle. And I said, you know what? I want to make this the most fun that we can possibly make it. I want to get to know some people and, uh, you know, make some connections before we even get there. So I made a 
whole mess load of posts and probably annoying the heck out of people and uh, connected with some people on there. And at the Goodwill, uh, Roman comes walking up to us with his GoPro camera, of course, because he's on YouTube. And uh, says, hey, I think I know you guys. <laughs> and, you know, we get through introductions and stuff and uh, we hit it off like that. We're, he's a great guy. Uh, now we're good friends. Um, our actual very first YouTube appearance was on his channel of him kind of interviewing us. Um, at least he tried to interview us. We totally looked like idiots on there. I think we just kind of smiled and laughed the whole time because we'd never been on YouTube or on a camera like that before. But anyway, if you want to have some fun, you can go find that. I'm certainly not going to link it to you. <laughs> but definitely go, uh, I will definitely link his channel. Go check his channel out. Um, but I will not be linking that video of us on there. Um, but I, I'm not going to stop you from finding it either. I mean, it's, we look like idiots. I shouldn't say we. I look like an idiot on there. My, my bride always looks beautiful no matter what. Uh, hope this mug makes it. I think I picked a way too big box. Because I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing while I'm filming. Um, I hope this makes it, Roman. If not, let me know. I'll send you another mug. I, 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 yeah. I, I can't pack and talk, guys. This, this is, this is fun enough. <laughs> Brings me another story, actually. I mean, Roman bought this through our eBay store, which is great and all. But I wanted to let you guys know, too. Um, if you do want to, like, strike some kind of special deal, I'm not trying to, like, sell our stuff to you guys. You know, that, that I'll never try selling our eBay stuff on our YouTube channel. It's two separate entities. Like, YouTube is a hobby for me. But we have had some messages on eBay of people wanting to, like, um make a deal with us where we can like do a side deal off of eBay without the eBay fees and stuff. I want to let you know that we can't reply to them email them emails or messages through eBay system. We can, but I can't discuss anything other than um, the eBay product and shipping the eBay product through an eBay purchase. Like I can't, you know, discuss any side deals or say, Hey, I'm going to delist it and send it to you for less money. Um, cause eBay does monitor all the messages and they will shut our account down. So, um, you know, I'm not being rude, ignoring their messages. I just, I just can't reply. Sold an Easter bunny parade plush. I think it's reversible. So only sold for $7 and 87 cents. We listed this like two years ago. Um, I'm actually thinking that that did not sell because, um, we had priority shipping on it actually for quite a bit. Um, it was one of our, not, I don't want to say first listings, but early listings. And, uh, Janelle was too afraid to put first class shipping on some things. So, yeah, we had the shipping kind of high on that. So, back to people messaging us on the eBay, um, platform. We actually had a, uh person just messaged us today in the probably about 20 minutes away from our house they wanted to purchase some um, hats from us and wanted to pay us cash you know strike a deal offline the whole thing and it kind of stinks because they're local hats to us and they're they're neat hats but I, I couldn't reply to them I, I mean I'm too afraid it's too much of a risk for us to reply and do that for one sale, you know, to lock up our whole entire eBay account. So. I'm definitely out of my norm in this video, guys. You probably can notice that. I mean, usually Janelle and I will brainstorm an idea a little bit for a video. And, uh, you know, discuss what we want to share, what we want to talk about. I just won it this time. I mean, 
part of it was um, Roman sale. I wanted to make sure I got that in a video to uh, say hi to Roman. And then the other part was I just wanted to share with you guys on what's going on with us, you know, with Janelle and uh, going to be out for a couple days. But you shouldn't notice too much of a hiccup in our videos or anything. Um, I'm hoping that uh, she'll be back to normal in a few days. Yeah, that bunny uh, shipped for less than a pound. I think we had it for uh, <laughs> two pound rate priority. So I think it charged the customer like $10 in shipping. This is another cool sale. Uh, got some sheets here, vintage sheets, sealed, queen size. I think, yeah, they are satin sheets. Sold for $79.90. And they picked UP, USPS Parcel Select. I've yet to mail anything USPS Parcel Select, even when they select it. Um, I will still ship UPS or another method. I just, I don't know, I just don't trust the Parcel Select. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it works great. I just, me personally, I've heard too many horror stories, so I've been scared to go down that path. It's a big package. I'm hoping it fits in this guy. Which it's not gonna. I don't know. I'm afraid to fold them up. I don't really want to ruin the package on them. Let me see if I got another bigger box. Maybe this guy. I'm gonna make that work. Do a little resizing too to cut the size down. Things sure go a lot slower out here when John's not out here. I guess I, the fact that I'm trying to talk to a camera too. Oh, why do things have to be so Big. I've had this box quite a while. We're looking forward to garage sale season. It's uh, still pretty cold here. Some friends of ours keep telling us how warm it is in their area of the country. And they're not even far from us. I think Ohio is 70s today. We're, we're still in our 30s. I don't know. We're kind of, I mean, I shouldn't say kind of, we're, we're up by the Great Lakes, so we stay cold for quite a while from the cold water and the lakes. We've even had snowstorms in April. Let's see how that works. Hmm. I mean, they're sheets, right? You can't break them. I guess that'd be a good story. If you have a story on uh, how you broke your sheets. I don't see myself doing another style of video like this. I mean, maybe if I got more comfortable doing this kind of style, but I don't know how you guys do it. It's weird. I'm just like in a shed talking to myself. I guess I'd have some music on or something if you guys weren't here. You guys aren't very talkative though. I can't really ask you questions. Well, I guess you could. I, I guess I could. And then you could just put them in the comments section, the answers. I have to wait a while to get the responses, though. All right, let's see how this is going to ship. So, because I didn't go with the parcel select and I went with the UPS ground, it actually cost us uh, just under a dollar more um, than what the buyer paid for shipping. But I just, I feel more comfortable with UPS. I guess I could take USPS Parcel Select off the options from our shipping options, but I don't know. It hasn't really been a problem yet, I guess. Two Toy Story 3 figures sold for $13 going first class shipping, so that'd be a little easier to ship. I tell you, if you are married out there and uh, cohabitating with your spouse, <laughs> Give her, give him, her, whoever that spouse is, 
a huge thank you for any help they do around the house. I have to admit, like, I never, you know, once said Janelle doesn't do anything around the house, but you don't realize how much that other person does, helps you out, on how much weight they pull until they can't do it anymore. It's like, wow, it was a pretty crazy night for me. Um, just, you know, getting dinner ready, um, which I kind of usually do dinner anyway. But on top of that, I was um, taking care of laundry, getting Frankie all situated for school the next day. Um, I mean, Janelle could have probably did some of that stuff. She actually wanted to, and I wouldn't let her. I wanted her to rest and get better um, and not hurt herself anymore. And I just, I was like, wow, this, this is like a lot. I mean, on top of the stuff I usually do throughout the evening, you know, I was trying to get some video edited it too, so I can get you guys another video up. Um, just, yeah, you don't, you, you take a lot for granted in life, you really do. Sold a Rubbermaid sink mat for $28. Uh, listed this about six months ago, uh, actually about eight, nine months ago. Um, we've sold these before. I don't know why people go on eBay to buy them, if they need a specific one, if it's vintage. Could be vintage, I don't know. Hoping P FRE plated flight rate envelope. Nope, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna fold it up again. I don't. Sure is quiet out here. It's kind of funny. Um, every spring. We get excited about going to garage sales and finding more cool stuff to list. And then every fall, we get excited about garage sales ending. <laughs> Mainly because for about four or five months straight, maybe more on the four month side, we are getting up at the crack of dawn on Fridays, Saturdays, and sometimes Sundays to hit garage sales. <laughs> So it's kind of nice, um, you know, and then with my full-time job getting up early as it is for that, it's kind of nice uh, when garage sales end and that first weekend when we sleep in, you know, because uh, obviously we try to put some time in out in the shed too to get the stuff listed. I think we took a lot of Sundays off last year just because we found that a lot of the stuff has been picked through. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying you can't get good deals. I know a lot of you have gotten great deals on Sundays at garage sales, um, especially, you know, if the prices have been lowered and stuff, but you got to have a day at rest, right? So a Carter's uh, Rattle Plush, I'm guessing, well, I'm going to say it's probably vintage because it sold for $69.23. Going priority mail on that one. Um, I wish I could tell you more about it. I, it's got some pajamas on it. I know certain pajamas Janelle said she looks out for and certain carters. Um, the only reason I know that is from the videos you guys watch that I film her doing. So as far as garage sales, um, we got like a couple neighborhood sales that we're going to be looking for that um, have been very successful for us the past couple of years. So we're going to make sure to make that a priority. And then uh, there's a highway sale, the Highway 90 sale near us that we hit last year. We had a lot of fun with. And we would like to uh, try to hit another highway sale maybe further away from us. Not sure which one yet. Kind of make a little road trip out of it. Um, I guess I should probably get planning on that and figuring it out. I tell you though, it is tough being a uh, motorcycle rider and a reseller because you can't really do a lot of reselling on a motorcycle. Even though we have done it and tried and came back with some stuff. I think we actually got a video. I can't remember if I made a video doing that or not. I think we went to a church sale on the motorcycle. Last thing going out is a Grateful Dead bear. Um, I think it's like a Beanie Baby. I don't know, probably something that sold at the at the baseball um, baseball stadium at Candlestick Park. 
It's uh, Grateful Dead and um, something with Candlestick Park. I don't know. His name's Homer. <laughs> Going to Canada. Canada shipping sold for eleven dollars. I listed that last year, exactly a year ago. So hopefully the next video you'll see Janelle. Actually, you'll probably will see Janelle in the next video because I'm probably going to release this video out of order. Um, so I'd like to get this out kind of quick just to give you guys an update on what's going on. And I'll go back and finish editing the couple videos I've been editing right now. So um, if they seem a little out of order for you, sorry. But hopefully the next video I make will have Janelle in it and you guys don't have to listen to me ramble on. Almost forgot to thank you. Always got to be thankful. Well, that's about it for shipping tonight. Um, I'm just uh, really thankful that Janelle's okay and it's not as serious as I originally thought. She had actually called me while I was at work um, telling me that she had fell and needed to get to the hospital. Um, she didn't want to go by ambulance, which who the heck wants to. I don't think it really entailed the need for an ambulance either but anyway i rushed out of work picked her up right out of the hospital got her home um she's doing good like i said she she's not paralyzed or nothing serious she just needs some rest all uh, a lot of muscle injury right now so anyway thanks for hanging out with us uh or me anyway thanks for putting up with me um checking in on our update and if you uh, well i'd say give it the thumbs up but you don't have to because this isn't really that great of a video. Other than Roman bought something from us. So give us a thumbs up for Roman's sale. That was awesome. Uh, honored to be able to ship him a little something. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.